What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan. We've got another super easy 10 minute recipes video. We are doing noodles today. Yay! I've been really into um, noodles <laughs> lately. And not that I was ever not into noodles, but like recently it has just been a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm in the mood for nudes. <laughs> okay, anyways. We are doing two recipes today. One is a warm noodle, one is a cold noodle. I don't know why I decided to say noodle, not noodles, but uh, yeah, English is my second language. What can I say? All right, let's just get started. First recipe is going to be a noodle stir fry with a peanutty dressing. Yes, it's delicious. So you can use whatever noodles you want, but I am using these spinach noodles. These are just some wheat noodles. I got them a long time ago for a video and I had them sitting in my pantry for like 10 years. So we're gonna use it. So we're just gonna cook the noodles according to the instructions on the package and while the noodles are cooking you can chop your vegetables. Now you can use whatever vegetables you have. I'm gonna be using bell peppers, baby bok choy, and onion. I feel that those are really good stir fry vegetables but like I said you can use whatever you have in your fridge at that moment. Stir fries are a great way to use up your vegetables in your fridge. For my protein, I'm actually going to just pan fry some tofu and I always mention this but I do have a video where I talk about tofu, how to cook tofu and all of that so if you guys haven't seen that then check that out, the link will be below. Pan frying tofu is probably the most common way that I cook tofu just because I love the way it tastes, I love how it's crispy on the outside and it's just simple. And I decided to cut the tofu into even smaller pieces. Uh, now this method is not recommended. I just decided after I put the tofu on the pan, which is why I'm using a metal utensil to cut the tofu in the pan. Again, very much not recommended to do this, but you know, I'm only human, what can I say? So I'm just pan frying the tofu until it is nice and browned on the outside. So while you are waiting for your tofu to become golden brown, you can actually start making the sauce. This is, of course, the star of the show. As long as you have a good sauce, I feel like you can eat really healthy. Uh, just make sure you have a very nice, delicious sauce. So we are adding some peanut butter and some tamari into a bowl. Tamari is just a substitute for soy sauce, so you can, of course, use soy sauce if you want. I'm also adding some sweetener. This is agave nectar. Feel free to use maple syrup or maybe even brown sugar. We're also adding here some lemon juice, some ginger powder, and just a little pinch of crushed chili flakes. Now we can start mixing it up. If you have fresh ginger, then you can grate that and add that instead. I feel like that would taste better. Uh, but I only had ginger powder and plus I'm kind of lazy, okay? So we just add a little bit of water to thin out this mixture. Just a little reminder that I will have a blog post linked below with the written recipe and all the measurements. And now I'm using that same wok that I used to cook the noodles. I just drained the noodles and the noodles are just sitting uh, in my strainer. And now I'm just going to uh, stir fry the vegetables. So I'm adding here some onion and some minced garlic. We're gonna cook that out for a little bit. And then you're just gonna add the rest of the vegetables and then just stir fry them until they've pretty much cooked because everything else is already cooked. The noodles are cooked, the tofu has been cooked. So yeah. And then you can just throw everything in. Yay, noodles. Yay for noodles. I'm just adding a little bit of sauce at a time because I'm not really sure how much sauce I want and I don't know how salty it'll be and stuff. And of course you can always add more in, but you can't take any out. So add a little at a time, see how you feel. I don't really like to have too much sauce in my food. I like to actually taste the food itself as well as the sauce, so that's just me this part is optional but highly recommended we're adding of course some sriracha yeah that's gonna give a little kick another optional component would be to add some toasted sesame seeds on top and that's the dish mm -hmm. 
I'm just plating it and then garnishing it with even more toasted sesame seeds. And there you have a very simple peanut ginger stir fry, I guess you could call it. <laughs> Next recipe is going to be another cold noodle salad. Oh my god, seriously, I've been making so many cold noodle salads nowadays. I don't know what is going on, but they are so good. And you can make them in so many ways, which is why I'm going to show you guys another one. Hopefully you don't mind. This time we're using whole grain spaghetti just because that's what I had on hand. Feel free to use whatever noodles you have. Soba noodles would go so well with this, so that is what I would recommend. But like I said, you can use whatever you have. Now here are the sauce ingredients. They're very similar to what we just did before, but with a few little changes that change everything. The first ingredient we're using is tahini. I have been obsessed with tahini recently. They are such a great base for a nice creamy dressing. We're adding also some ginger powder. Once again, you can use actual ginger if you're not lazy like me. We're also adding some tamari once again. We're gonna add lemon juice once again, and also some agave nectar or any other sweetener of your choice. We're also gonna add in some garlic powder and mix that up nicely. Once again, this is going to be a pretty thick concoction, so you might wanna add some water. I would add a little bit at a time to see how you like the consistency, and you can of course thin it out more if you need. Now because I wanted this to be kind of a nice and thin salad dressing, I made it pretty watery. And remember, if you store it in the fridge, it will become thicker over time. So that's something to keep in mind. You can of course add more water as time passes. So once that dressing is made and your noodles are cooked, you can drain those noodles and rinse them under cold water. So I'm just going to add everything into a mixing bowl so I mix everything really nicely. So I'm just adding a bunch of veggies. I've got some spring mix in there. I have some pre-cut veggies from before. So I'm going to add in those noodles as well. And once again, we're going to add in a little bit of sauce at a time and see how we feel. And I'm using the Korean method of mixing noodles together, which is one chopstick in each hand. For my protein, I am going to just add in some chickpeas. Now, someone asked me if I cook my beans from scratch, and my answer is I try to, and I used to do it a lot more. Recently, I've been super busy, and I just haven't had time to focus on making beans from dry beans, so I do like to have canned beans, which is totally fine. So I would recommend, for those of you busy people, keep some some canned beans in your pantry at all times so on days like this when you make a dish like this you can quickly throw in some beans for some additional nutrients and also to keep you satiated and we are going to once again sprinkle some toasted sesame seeds on top seriously can I be more predictable anyways we're gonna do that and that is pretty much the dish. Very, very simple yet extremely delicious tahini ginger noodle salad, I guess you could call this. Honestly guys, there was a time when I thought that I didn't like tahini that much, but I realized that's only because I was probably just having tahini on its own and not mixed with other ingredients. Because when you make tahini dressing using a bunch of other ingredients, it tastes so good. I have been so obsessed, so definitely try out this recipe. And of course, if you have any dressing left over, you can actually keep it in a tightly sealed container. I'm just using a leftover salsa jar and you can keep it in the fridge and anytime you need to use it, just take it out. It should last you at least a few weeks. And like I said, you can always uh, thin it out with some water because it will probably thicken up in the fridge. And that brings us to the end of the video, but not the end of the recipes because if you guys are interested in more noodle recipes, I actually have a brand new playlist that includes my noodle recipes. So I will link that playlist down below if you are a fan of nudes, you know what I'm saying? If you like noodles, the noodle recipes will be linked down below. They are all vegan, all delicious, and all very, very easy to make. So check out the playlist. And of course, if you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up 
thumbs up if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye